Hello, people. Let's talk about Uptalk before we get started with the video. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. In this tutorial video, we will discuss Pega CSA. So, without further ado, let us know about Pega CSA. The Certified System Architect CSA certification from Pega is designed for developers and technical staff members who want to learn how to develop Pega applications or are directly involved in the design and construction of applications built on Pega. This certification provides a baseline measurement on your knowledge of Pega applications. And finally, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Uptalk channel. Taja will go through the topics discussed in this video in depth. Let's get started. Once you go through the life cycle, we'll start the session. Fine, fine. Yeah, can you open your uh, flow and from flow open the flow action? Correct. Yeah, correct. This is a process. Okay, now from you click on open process, the flow will be opening. Yeah. And open the flow action. Flow action will be present and connected. Yes. Double click on it. it will yes. Open. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Now, flow action is there. No address. You, you, you can you open that address? No, that is a header. You, below in the connector, you have flow action. Yeah. Yeah. Open in the sense you have to click on that crosshair icon. Oh, yeah. Check your class address, then apply to this order work online. Order. Check yeah, check your uh, rule set is correct, class is correct, work online order. Now create and open. So, for, for, for particular address, we are uh, particular uh, flow, we are creating one by one, right? Yes.
Now here add your section. Any section like collect address in for any meaningful name you give and you create it. The section also you need to create. Okay. So you can give any name. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, click on that crosshair icon. You check your class is fine. Rule set is fine. Yeah, click on create and open. Yeah, you just save this one first. Save the section. After that, you save the flow action also. Yeah, just save it. You will get check out there, okay? Whenever you save, yeah. Now you save the flow action also. It's showing new, right? Still it is there okay. like new. New in the sense it is not yet saved. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yes. now go to your section, you check out it. Check out in the sense you are making changes to the section now. Okay. Click on convert to full section editor. That uh, hyperlink is then a blue color hyperlink in the header. No, no, below that. Uh, the yes, yes. To, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, I got it. This section is currently in the view detector to access for the general but to cool section editor. We like to give a temperature in the normal so that we want to compose it. Done. Yeah, it will take time. Now if you observe. There is one dynamic layout. See dynamic layout one. Yes. yes Section contains layouts. Layouts contains the properties. Okay. Okay. See, you observe the relation here. Initially, there is a flow. Inside flow, you have flow action. Inside flow action, you have section. Inside section, you have layouts. Inside layouts, you will be having properties. Oh, yes. <clears throat> you understand it? What I'm trying to say is like flow is a high level thing. Correct. Inside flow, you have flow actions and connectors. Yes. If you open connector, you have flow action. Correct. If you open flow action, inside flow action, you have a section. Inside section, if you open a section, you have a layouts. Inside layouts, you will be adding a properties. Okay. So actually changes oh. whatever it is going to uh, reflect in uh, uh, GUI, I mean uh, front end, that should be addressed here in layout, right? Yeah, whatever what the properties. changes you need to show it on user interface, those yes. changes you have to do it on sections. Sections. And which, and which user interface needs to come when those things you have to configure at the flow level. Yes. You understand which screen has to come first? Uh, yes, yes, this one. <clears throat> yeah, the, yeah, that is assignment shape, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it, right? Yeah, yes, yes, I got it. Yeah, now go to section, try to add a property, click on data capture. D data capture is in a structural data capture because... No, no, still, still to the right, yeah. Data capture, drag and drop text input. Yeah, 
drag it and drop it inside a layout here. Double click or you can also click on that right side, the gear icon is there, no? one blue color. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, now if you see what is it asking, it is asking for a property, right? Yes. yes property yeah. Now you create one, like you give one property, like a name, name you can give. Name, and you can create it from here itself. You can click on crosshair icon. See, if you are creating it from here, okay. We are creating it from here. You can see you are getting all the class rule set, rule set version, yes. and all right. Yes. <clears throat> and now you click on create and open. Okay, now. The name is a, is a text input only, right? It is not an integer or decimal. It is a text input. So you can save it as it is. You need not change anything. You can save it. If you want to change, you have to click on the change hyperlink is there. No? There you need to click. Once you click there, you can see. Okay, change. yes, yes, I got this is the one we are talking. This yeah, you click on the right. change. If you want to change the, for this one, you can change it to decimal or date. But the property is name. Name is generally text only, right? Uh, text, uh, yes. Yeah, now you can directly save it. Okay. Check out. No need to check out. You you actually no need to modify anything, right? You have already done. Ah, uh, correct. Now go to your section. You give dot in front of name, dot. If whenever you're referring a property, you have to give dot, okay, dot name. No, no, not dot after, before. Before n, yeah, dot. See, it is coming in the below. Yes, you yes, saw? Yes, yes. Yeah, you select that one. Submit it. Okay, one minute. So how do you do it here? Property we are manually we are we can add any name instead of selecting the existing one or something. Okay. So we need to make it as ready here. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, Let's I didn't see. get you with the report. No, no, no. I'm saying suppose we are creating this property here. Okay. So manually mm -hmm. we can enter the name, I mean whatever the name we are uh, trying to give. Right? Yeah, you can enter. You just submit it. I'll show you. Ah, yes. Submit it. And normally, actually, what is what is meant out here? Normally, uh, it will have some drop down list, right? Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So normally, instead you can of that, click on. Uh, yeah, you can click on down arrow. Ah, yes. Whatever properties you have created, those only will come here. Come here, yes. Okay. So no need to change anything here like default value or so. default value in the sense hard coding you are giving, right? Same name will come. Yeah, default, default value means by default, if you want to show sure. something like Suman ah. or Dilip, we have to give it here. Okay, we are just trying. Uh -huh. You need not give that one also. Actually, if you give that one, what will happen? That one will store in the clipboard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll tell you, you just submit it. Nice. See, this is one way of creating a property, okay? Huh. Now, you try to add one more uh, 
data capture one more text input now if you need to ask the user to enter his phone number okay you add the text input a below of a name yeah drag and drop below you have dragged and drop in the above of a name you just right click it and delete it Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Now you open that one. If you want to add a phone number now, if you keep on dot, if phone number will not come. Because the phone number property is not yet created. Uh, yes, yes. Sorry. So previously, yes. how you have done? You have created from here, right? Phone number yes. and you click on that cross air icon. Now you don't create like that. Go to your records. The records is in the right uh, left hand side. You have records. No, 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 extreme left. Extreme left in ah, the yes, app yes, explorer yes. records. Yeah, ah, click yes, on yes. record. Click on data model, expand data model. Click on uh, property. Now you will open instances of property, means all the properties in a application. Okay, these are called instances. Instances means records. Now on the top you have create, right? You can create it from here also. Click on create. No, you just click on create. Directly. Yeah, you can give your name here. What name is phone number, label is phone number. And the below you saw applies to class, we need to mention it because you are creating from a generic place, right? This, uh, this, this record is a generic place. All the properties will be there here. So what happened? You need to give your class here. Yeah, you need to specify your class in which class you're creating. Yeah. But when you have a, trying to create from section, the class, it was taking it by itself. I mean, it will show default uh, class. I mean, uh, it will be connect default. Yeah, class. The, the, the class context, it will show. Correct. What is the class context required there? You understand what I'm trying yeah, to yes, say? Yes, yes, yes. Two ways we can create. Yeah, and also you can create from the top. Top, you have create button, right? Create on the top. Top header. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you can click there and you can also create the properties. So not only properties, you can create any rule from there or else on the right side, you have App, App Explorer. Click on App Explorer, top of records. On top of, yeah, App Explorer. Yeah, click on the App Explorer. You just expand it somewhat to the right. You just drag it. No, no. Yeah, you just right. No, no, don't click there. You have clicked there. If you click there, you need to reload it. This uh, this person edition will not work like that. You just reload the screen once. On the top, you have it browser reload. Oh yes. We'll go to text. Okay, now go to App Explorer. Yeah, work dash online order you can give work dash. No, you can directly click on dash, right? You can directly type dash after the work. Okay, here, right? Yeah, yeah. In which class you need to create, you need to open the class. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, right click, right click. Right, you can right click on data model or you can right click on the class. Yeah, you have create, right? Hover on create. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Over. create and here. Hover on data model. Hover on data model. And here from here also you can create a property, okay? Yes, yes, correct. There are so, so many ways third, to create a one rule. Third way and fourth way. Yes, yes. So records and create new. So as whatever well as... you need, you can do it. 
Yeah, it will it will open the same. This one only it will open. From you can do whatever way you are convenient. Okay, so only the thing okay, is no. uh, which class we are going to uh, apply it that we need to mention here. In, if you are creating yes. through uh, this one, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. If you are creating through section. Section is what happened. Yeah, section. it will directly come uh, if you are creating through uh, records. You need to mention the class. Class name mention. We need to mention. Correct. Okay. If you if you are creating from this like like from App Explorer, you are right clicking on class. Then what happens? That class will come by default. By default, whatever the class you are creating. Yes. If I click on. Yeah. Save it. You understand it? What I'm trying to say? Yes, yes, yes. A various way to create. Yeah, various ways. That's it. Anything is fine. Okay, go to your section. I think you haven't saved the section yet. That's why name was removed. Go to your section. In the previous one, yeah. Now add one text input name and you add phone number also. Name was gone because you haven't saved. I think you have reloaded, right? Uh -huh. yes, yes. The dot you have to mention. You know, phone number is also coming because you have created that property. Yes. Yeah, submit it. And now you just save it. Now launch the portal and try to create a case. Case manager. Click on new. Click on online order. See, yes. you got your name and phone number. Previously, Correct. you didn't get this one, right? Previously, you used to get the uh, advance the case something. Yes. Right. You understand his name saying, and ah, phone yes, number? Yes. And, and here, another thing. So we, we can give some restriction like how many uh, length it should be maximum length. And uh, here, yeah, those are all you can uh, give. Those are all you go to your designer studio. Those are all validations. Okay, we'll look into one by one. Open your uh, okay. name, name you have created, right? Property. The next tab, you go to advanced on the second tab. You have we are in general, right? Go to advanced. Yes. Here you have, uh, you, you can see there are some functions here. Ah, uh, yes, validation. See, there is max length, expect, expected length you have. We'll see, okay, one by one, not an uh. issue. Validations will. You understand it, what, I'm, what we have done today. We have just created a property. We have added it in a section. So the properties came here, okay? Yes. Now, as per client requirement, I don't want this looks awkward, right? The name is very long text field. It came. Ah, yes, it is just like uh, basic kind of things. Yeah, so basic kind of good. things, right? Now, I need a name and phone number side by side. Okay. Because the text box is very long, I, it actually doesn't look good. So I need to, I need to utilize the space there. So, uh, I, I need to get name and phone number side by side. That is a requirement. Okay. Now, you need to, the fields are already there. You need to align it as per the client's requirement. Okay. You understand, right? Ah, yes, yes. Like uh, here, uh, some left side or here, right uh -huh. side, phone number should yes. be there. 
yes where you can do it you just go to your section and you just uh, check on your own if we are not able to get i'll let you data display it should be available in okay let me tell you you have a layout right dynamic layout one you have added right yeah you click on that uh, settings icon yeah open the dynamic layout settings now if you open this one you let it open Yeah, you can see dynamic layout format is there and it is stacked. Stacked means it will come one by one. Okay. okay. You understand? Stacked and means what is a stack? It will be like books. If you keep books on one top of another, it is like a stack. Book Correct. stack. Right. You can keep inline grid double. Inline grid double. And if you submit it, you can see the change here itself. Click on submit. See? Ah, uh, yes. Correct. You understand? Yes, yes. Just save it. You just save it here. Go to your uh, case and you just refresh it. No need to create a new case on the yeah, actions. Refresh. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you see... The phone number doesn't look good, right? The, the E and N are there is no space in between it. Generally, it will not be like that, right? In a general formal applications, phone number will be like phone space number, right? Correct. But here, it is like uh, there is no space in between them. Yeah. Now, I don't want like that. I need, uh, it has to be something different, like phone space number. Check where you have to make a changes for that one. There you cannot keep space because it's a property. You know, no, open that one. I'll tell you. Open that one. You have. You see that you have label value, right? Label. Yes. Where you're hovering. You, on the top, there is one checkbox, right? Label, use property by default. Yeah, you, you, you check on that and you give your you give your custom label in the below. Yeah. You remove text input. You give phone space number or US number, you whatever you need. Phone space number. Submit it. See, label, you can give any label. You save it and check the changes on screen. Okay, label in the sense, you can give a Suman or you can give Dilip, whatever the value you are giving it here. It will just show on the UI screen, that's it. Okay. It will not store in the background. Go to your screen and refresh and see the changes. Yes. Okay. And you need to remember one thing here, Dilip. Like everything was everything Pega has given to you. Okay. You, you just need to understand where you have to make a change and how efficiently you can use that options. Got it? Got it. Yes. What I'm trying any, to say. Any any, any like, design and all. Suppose just uh, I'll I'll try this. Just I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Possibilities over there. So this phone number also here in this label you can add and you can write to that you can add uh, uh, this text box right. That is also possible. Phone number I didn't get you. I suppose this phone number this this side. Okay. Uh, so this side I I want to no no next to phone number that text box should be there but it should be in same line. Yeah, so that, you can do that one also. 
Uh, I'll, I'll try from my end. Okay. No, no, that is something complex. Okay, you need to modify skin rule and all for that one. Oh. Okay, that is something complex. Okay, what you're trying to say is like phone number and this next to this must uh, be side by side, right? Side by side, and many option will be there. Suppose uh, here, one by one. Yeah. This side, right side, one by one. I understand. Go to your, uh, go to your layout. You open your layout. Layout, dynamic layout is there. You need to make changes in this layout format. Open that one. Pega has given so many layout formats. Not only in, you click on that layout format. You try to keep default. Try to keep default. Submit it and see it here only. Whether what changes. <coughs> no, it's coming on the top right. Yes. Again, you open that uh, that. Uh, Cleared instead of default in line, you keep ah, uh, yes, no, right? This is not your asking, you know, side by side, but uh, we'll see here. That means it is changing here now. So, triple means it's not a triple, triple means it will take three, uh, three items at a time. You can keep other, see, other is there. If you give other, it will ask for a thing here. You have to create your own custom representation. See, you have. See, inline labels left is there. Ah, no? Yes. Pega has given. You select that one. Let's see what's happening. Ah, yes. That is that is what I was asking. Okay. Yes. You understand? See, you need to explore. That's it. Correct. Correct. If you, if you and all. yeah, if you didn't uh, get what you required from what Pega has given. Then you, you can actually customize the skin rule also. There is a rule called skin for 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 user interface. Okay. You have a skin rule, you have to modify that skin rule. If you if you if suppose you have one requirement, the client has given you one requirement. Now that kind of functionality, that kind of representation is not present in Pega out of the box given rules. Okay, yes. it is not there. Then what you have to do, you have to create your own customized skin. And so you that, that that should be here only or uh, um, I mean in backend only you need to create, right? Yeah, in backend only. If you click on application name, cake order is there, no? click on cake order. That role will discuss when skin rule is there, but I'll show you. On the top header, you have application cake order, right? Yes. Click on it. Skin is there, na? Click on skin. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Skin is a one rule, similar to sections, similar to flows, similar to all the things. Skin is also one section. See, sorry, skin is also one rule. Okay, it's a, it's a it's a rule type. Got it. It will take time. These user interfaces will take time. Okay, you have to be patient. Like, to load and all it will take time. Now, see there is a dynamic layout. You, you are in dynamic layouts. If you click on the three dots on the, you, you click, yeah, you click there. See, you can customize everything. Action area, you can customize. Buttons, you can customize, come down. Slowly. Labels you can customize, check boxes you can customize, everything you can customize. Yeah, I like if you select radio buttons, okay, just for our understanding, if you select radio buttons, it went to radio buttons, right? You go to inherited first, you go and check inherited in the sense what styles Pega has given. Pega has given standard and segmented, two styles Pega has given. Let's see what style it looks like. If you it see now, you just click on uh, this uh, left side. You just drag it to the right. See, sorry, drag it to the left. This app explorer you close. Yeah, yeah yes, you, yeah. You drag it to the left. Still left. Still, still left. Complete left. Yeah, yeah. Till here, it's fine. See, 
if you select the standard you are getting the standard orientation how it is looking on the right side you can see right preview yes if you select segmented you just see the changes how if you keep the segmented style how it will show if you select it segmented it will show i think like uh, some uh, rectangular boxes see on the top you see segmented here segmented me then you understand right correct correct similarly for everything you can come here and you can see on inherited styles what pega has given you understand and you yes. can change this colors also see some people will ask i need the radio buttons colors as red color instead of blue dot i need a red yeah. dot or a green dot based on their application skin they will ask you now you need it. to come here and you need to customize it here in the skin rule you understand ah uh, yes yes yeah. and if you go to the top open dynamic layout go to the top on the this thing top yeah here click on dynamic layouts layouts is there in layouts you have uh, dynamic layouts go to inherited see these many oh. examples pega has given you you can click on each style and you can see the preview how actually the screen will look like ah uh, yes see default yes. will look like this if you keep uh, 30 70 70 30 30 70 means left side you will not here yeah. small gap will be there 70 30 sometimes you will not understand the changes here but you can you will understand the changes on screen if you click on quadra no you are not getting your changes here i think sometimes you cannot show see on preview okay you will you can see on directly on screen what is sir yeah you, you have selected inline labels left right okay you just select it inline labels left ah uh, yes it's coming this is something looking good i mean uh... yeah yeah you can keep whatever you want it's okay correct correct yeah it's all based on requirements okay the how the client is asking you you need to configure in the in that manner yes okay you understand it how we'll yeah. make a changes to a skin yes, yes, yes see yes, there yes. is a yeah there is a certification there used to be a certification for pega pega ui specialist i think okay pega ui specialist is a complete certification only for ui related things in this in this designer studio that much oh, separately one yeah, topic separate, i separately there is one certification exam similar to csc and cwsa there used to be i think now they have removed it there is they will only train you on ui related elements how to make utilize this pega given functionalities more efficiently that much powerful the ui the pega is giving but most of, most of the times we will not understand if we if we didn't do that certification like if you go to that name property go to that name you know go to your section go to your section section open a name double click on name and open it double click or you can give a single click and click on that yeah go to presentation see how presentation tab right and come down if you see below you have advanced presentation options there they will ask css this is the css styling okay css and html styling if you didn't get your customized skin and all you can write your own code here css so, classes okay. okay they will teach you in that certification all these things how to give a class css classes how to more efficiently make your skin looks looks good and all the color combinations everything they will tell you on that certification got you it. understand yes but i think that that is removed now i think us specialist is not there i think it used to be there until 
7.4 version i think now it's been removed so due to advanced version came it's in build already i mean many designs no i think they have just removed it i am not sure why okay okay you understand it you can make ah, yes. your application look and feel whatever like you want i I'll, I'll, i'll try one to create my own okay okay uh yeah shall we create a single page properties today or shall we create it tomorrow like if sonali can... i hope uh, if she's coming it will be good to will uh, wait so that i'll also get time to practice this one on one okay. time okay just try to practice it whatever changes you are making here ah uh, yes you can see those changes on screen okay uh, correct okay the so sections are ui representations means whatever you are making us changes on section those changes will be reflected on your screens correct okay now you understand on the high level understanding it flow inside flow you have flow action inside flow action you have section inside section you have layout inside layout you have properties properties okay user will enter data on properties okay yes now if you go to your last thing if you go to your uh, yeah this one you you just refresh it once okay i think you haven't saved that one it's okay you just enter your name here some name and and your phone number also you enter some random some number here okay you, you just submit it open your clipboard on the bottom you have gear icon right click on the gear icon the second icon no the second one is clipboard okay now see the thread first in which thread you are there in which thread you are there you are there in your in your case thread okay that's a case yes that is good okay case thread now if you come down you have a page called pwe work page pwe work page contains your case related information click on pwe work page control f and search for name or phone number name is there see yes yeah whatever you have entered on screen that will come in clipboard i have told you right clipboard yes, yes, acts yes. as an interface between your db yes. and your screen and uh, ui yeah you understand it ah uh, yes yes whatever the data you are giving on the screen the data will get stored in clipboard pages this is a page pwe okay. work page is one page okay okay then dilip like uh, you just uh, add some properties uh, yes that on... that practice i'll do i'll see the what is the changes mm -hmm. over here correct Okay. Okay. I'll create my own application. I mean, new application. I don't want yeah. to edit this one. You can create your uh, own case step here. Yes. Instead of creating whole application, go to your uh, uh, go to Designer Studio. Expand. Yeah. Drag it to towards some uh, right that uh, panel. Okay. You can click on case step. you can create the case type here but you if you create a case type here what happens the class will be same until work you, you click on app explorer click on app explorer no no don't click there click on glance it or click on click on advanced yeah click on app explorer if you create a new case type on the same application what happens cake fw cake order fw work will be same Ah, until it's work the class will be same after work you will get your new case type uh, layer okay to understand yes sir, the the common the common class will be cake uh, fw cake order fw work. work and after that and whatever i am assigning it will be suppose uh, um, um booking you have ticket something. yeah booking ticket then it will be like work dash booking ticket okay? booking ticket yes okay the organizational class will be the same until work yes after that the case type will different if you if you build on same application got it because we are on we are doing under this cake order application right correct correct got it right yes 
it's okay the class you can give anything this for practicing only right ah yes you can create a new case type you have to create a then if you create a case type you have to create a life cycle you have to create a flow you have to create a flow will get created flow action you need to create section you need to create properties you need to create or else or else you can do one thing also really you can check in this one you click on actions refresh this one click on actions refresh okay now you check in this code click on check in you write some comments actually the comments you are writing here must be meaningful okay but for some this practice you can write something wip wip is like work in progress check in now if you, instead of creating a new application and all you can also do uh, you can check out this rule you can check out this rule you can make whatever the changes you need here you can see all those changes on the screen and then you can discard it in the last ah okay okay instead of check in you can do it discard yeah you you just uh, click on data display or you just click on action action is there na no? action no not that action in pickers structural data capture you have one action no no yeah that action you add one button you add one button save it go to your uh, screen case and refresh it refresh oh, or or create a new case i think you have advanced right yeah click on on see button came there right nice so you can make your changes whatever changes you need there and 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 in the last you can discard it if you go to there if you if you click on discard it will come to the previous version yes, until yes, unless you have checked check in, in. Hmm. yeah the code will not get committed okay you just discard it click on discard you can see the previous version code like yeah yes, yes. okay instead of creating all those things again you can just check out and see the changes here Ah yes, I will do a practice. Uh huh. Okay, okay. then we will connect tomorrow. Tomorrow we have to complete these properties. Okay, this this has taken a long time. Yes, yes. It has to be completed uh, today itself, but uh, it's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay, then fine. Okay, tomorrow we'll complete the properties. So we'll create one a single page property, and we'll try to start data transforms tomorrow. Yeah. Thank Finally. You.